What up, folks? This is Audio Two Cents, and I got a package. So we're gonna kick off this uh, review. Uh, this is one of those things where I saw a reviewer do a top uh, ten list, and I said, "Huh, that's interesting. I've seen uh, this fragrance company come up once in a while, uh, now and then, and uh, you know, heard good things. It sounded like something I'd like, but then the price was always too high. And then I was dabbling on eBay and uh, found it." at a ridiculously good price and I thought I'm going to jump on it. So without further ado, this is, I wanted to say Vendetta, but no it's not. It's uh, Bottega Vendetta Pour Homme Parfum. So I saw that and I thought, woohoo, that's the Parfum. And uh, who knows? You know, I always see good deals as like, oh, gotta hope it's the real deal. Um, and I'm sure it is. I don't know why, but I'm sure it is. Uh, I made a genuine... Yeah. I'm trying to see... Oh. Uh, batch code M604458988. Five six three six two. So let's pop this open. I am going to put it on today, but I have all kinds of things on. The cap for some reason fell off, so I'm going to put that on. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Get the dust off. Here we go. <laughs> all right. A little schmeary. What's going on with that? All right, but take a banana. Pour om, parfum. Right away, I get a nice smell. Oh boy, there might be some incense in there or something. Let's see. Besides leather, spraying it on the box. Yeah, I'm excited to wear this one. It smells very, very nice. Yeah, there's some depth to it. Yeah, I like it. Tell you what, let me wear it. Yeah, there is some type of incense or something. <sighs> yeah, this is pretty dreamy. Uh, okay, yeah, what's not to like? Uh, everything seems good. It took forever to come in, like 20 days. Uh, and I just kept, that's that was making me really, really paranoid. Like this thing, this can't be a legit fragrance. But yeah, it's the real deal. Uh, and you, you're like, well, how do you know for certain, Gus? It's like, because it doesn't smell like if it's a knockoff. Like, if it'd be a counterfeit, why would you spend more time on the counterfeit than the regular? So, you know, it's amazing smelling. So, uh, right now at least. So, uh, yeah, be right back. <laughs> shirt on. And I put on some weight, so I've been kind of, I don't know, I think it might be muscle weight, but doesn't everybody say that? Uh, let's get back to this, as if you care. Bottega Veneta. And, uh, yeah, the uh, reviewer, uh, what, Demi Rawlings out of Australia, uh, just kind of having a laugh with the didgeridoo. I just wanted to throw that in there, I just thought that was funny, but... Uh, I don't know that person. Uh, that's kind of a lie. We see each other on the same photo shoots. Okay, we don't. I don't know her at all. And, uh, but yeah, uh, one time I was holding up, uh, hanging out with some of these uh, older ladies, a little bit older than me, not much, and uh, eating lunch with them. And they always pick these good lunch spots. And uh, I said something to them. I said, uh, hey, you, you ladies just are right about this stuff, you know, about these places to eat. Uh, you guys are always right. And they made me repeat uh, you guys are, you, you ladies are always right three times, uh, so I don't, I don't know what that is, but uh, they got a kick out of it. Uh, no, you're right. <laughs> um, and she's right. This is a very good fragrance. Uh, I, I don't know her from Adam, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, the gal did well. Uh, this is, of course, Bodega, <laughs> Bodega, Bodega Veneta Pour Homme Parfum, and yeah, my bottle has like a little weirdness on it, so maybe maybe it's a 
Oh, here's why I got a little less. Uh, the original one of this came out uh, 2013, then they have an extreme that came out in 2015, and in 2017, ba uh, the perfumers on this, all three of those are Danielle Roche, oh boy, uh, Andrian, uh, and Anton Masadou. Uh, top notes, cedar, cardamom, uh, mid notes, pimento, fur, resin, base, leather, labnamen, tonka. So let's give it a little spray. Uh, cap is pretty cool. Thought it was magnetic. Nope, but it's pretty cool. Uh, wore this a couple times. Uh, and yes, okay. Uh, do not be confused. I reviewed this as Montana Black, uh, basically a pine leather type of thing. Came out a while ago, a long time ago. Uh, maybe the original was more like this. This is sweeter, more resinous. We get cardamom. I get kind of like a, like I say, a incense sweetness. And I guess it's the fur, uh, resin, you know, a cedar. I don't get any pimento. It, it's sort of like a, uh, that type of a resin smell. And then as it dries down, more of the leather comes in. But the leather's pretty soft, and, and you know, I read some things on Fragrantica about what people thought about the other two, and then this one, and yeah, that this had more of the elements amplified, and I heard one reviewer say that the original maybe didn't last too long, uh, so anyhow, all this is more concentrated, it smells, uh, I mean, to me it smells really natural, and just really, really pleasant. It'd be perfect for fall. Oh. And, and okay, so I, I mainly, if there is a problem with it, I wish the leather was a little more pronounced. That being said, if it was, I don't know if uh, you know the mass market would really care for it that much. So something to consider. More like a suede type smell. But it doesn't punch you in the face, so if you're worried about that with the leather, uh, don't be. Uh, Performance-wise, seems to project, I don't know, I'm going to say 2.75 hours. I don't know, it projects for quite a while. Probably three hours, I always say three hours, it seems like. And, and it's lovely. Uh, and then as it dries down, it gets a little closer to the skin, but I swear to God, I wore this uh, last night to work, pretty busy night. And uh, at the seven hour mark, it seemed to be keeping, uh, uh, getting whiffs of me, you know, which is a pretty good sign. Uh, so yeah, it easily lasts eight hours and, uh, you know, it's a dandy. Uh, so far, I think, uh, besides uh, Demi, I think I'm the only person that's reviewed it. Uh, I got a hell of a deal on eBay and uh, I guess with their bags, they have that kind of crisscross thing on their leather bags, or leather items, and then that's in the box, so that's kind of nice too. Uh, should you rush out and buy it, get a sample. You know, I gotta believe that uh, where you do your sample shopping online, uh, decants and so forth, uh, as well as eBay, somebody has to have this one out there. Make sure it's the parfum, uh, because as I've heard, uh, I think the original might have had more of a pine type thing, which is not a bad thing. Like I say, I, I really did like this one, which has that type of a pine vibe, and and uh, but this is more, yeah, it's just more resinous. It does have a little bit like Dan, Daniel Gallagher's uh, Carpe uh, Diem, no, Carpe Cafe, Jesus. That has that uh, coffee note, nothing like this at all, but there is some uh, evergreen type of uh, notes in that one. And I get a little teensy bit of this, but this is, like I say, more resinous. You do get that kind of a forest type of vibe. And if you're probably wear wearing leather, or using leather, the whip, yeah, it would go well. So, get a sample. Uh, you owe it to yourself. Uh, seems really good quality. Uh, nice presentation. Uh, two amazingly attractive reviewers have looked at this, so why not? Uh, why not give it a shot? Uh, the girl did good.
So anyhow, uh, there'll be more of these to come. And as usual, folks, be kind.